high window watchers. It's kind of hard to put the out of doors up on the bulletin board for today. So I thought maybe we'd just come outdoors since we're going to learn how to play a game. Since I'd like to tell you how to play a game that I think would be a lot of fun for you, I thought we might as well just move right outside so that we have lots of room to do it in. Now, this game is called Clock Golf. And you know, during the summer and in the spring and even in the early fall, maybe your mother and dad or your older brother and sister like to go out and play a lot of golf, do they? Well, do you know that you can have your own golf game right at home? And it's just as much fun for your mom and your dad to play as it is for you to play. And that's what I'd like to tell you about today and show you just how to set up this clock golf course. And what it is, is a great big circle. That's where it gets its name, you see, clock golf. And this circle is really supposed to be a clock. And I'm going to move back here so I can have lots of room to set up this great big clock. And by doing that, I'm going to take a stick, this stick right here, and I'm going to put it down in the ground. And that's how I'm going to start making my circle. And I have a lot of string here. And I'm going to tie one end of this string right around the stick that I stuck in the ground. This is a very easy way to make a circle. Even if you'd want to make a circle on a piece of paper, you might remember something like this. Where this stick is then, is going to be the center of the circle, the clock golf circle. And then I can stretch back with this string as far as I want to. Now you might want to make it three feet, four feet, five feet, really as many feet as you want to. But just go back until you decide that this is where you'd want it to be. Now you can play this game on the grass or on gravel. I'm playing it right here on the gravel. And if you were on the gravel, you could take a stick and then running around with this string, putting the stick in the ground, you could make your circle just by having a line in the ground. But since it's rather hard to see, I'm going to use some powder. And then if my stick will just stay in the ground here. I guess I didn't put it in hard enough. Push it way down in there. Now it'll stay. And then I can move this string right around in a circle and sprinkle this powder all the time, see? And it's making white circle right around the ground. Of course, it has to clear everything, and we're going to have to go over this can right there. There we are. Now I can finish making it. Just shaking this out on the ground. And by the time we're through, we ought to have a completely round circle. There. See? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Well, there's the round circle. And then because it is called clock golf, here is a flag. This is where the hole is going to be. And we'll put it right there beside this little stick. And then we can put this other one over here at the side. But since it's called clock golf, it must have a reason other than the round circle to be called clock, and it does. Because you start at one side of the clock, and you can make some lines. This one here is going to be one o'clock. And over here is going to be twelve o'clock. So that with this powder, I'm going to make some lines, twelve of them, all the way around the circle, one for each number that's on the clock. And we'll go all the way around. Now probably if you're going to be doing this on grass, you won't want to take and put powder on your grass. And so you can use sticks. You can make the line by sticking sticks right into the ground. You know, a good stick to use, that you probably all have at home, are clothespins. And especially if you're playing on grass, you'll have a lot easier time sticking the clothespins in the ground than you would have probably sticks that you'd find from the tree. Well now I have little markings all the way around here. And if I were playing on a softer ground, 
I could take these little sticks, instead of making the little white marks for the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and so on around the clock, and I could stick them into the ground, but I think that this ground here is a little bit too hard for that. See, I can't even get in there. That's why I use the white powder markings. But probably on grass, you could stick it right down in there, and you could on a softer ground, too, if it wasn't such hard gravel as this, that this is here. You know, you can play this game, too, on the sidewalk. And instead of using the powder or the sticks, you just take a great big piece of chalk and draw the chalk on the sidewalk. Well, now let's get back to the center here, where we put a little flag that was the very center from the very beginning, remember? Now, we stuck it in the ground there so that we could remember where the exact center was. And now we're going to have to do something to this center. You know, when you play golf, you take a golf club and you go out and you hit it around the golf course, don't you? And every time you come to a green, try to put the golf ball into what they call the cup. You're shooting it along and pretty soon the golf ball will be hit right into the cup. Well, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to put a cup right here where this little post is. And the only way we can do it, of course, is to take and dig a hole in the ground. So, I have an old spoon here. I'm going to dig this hole right in the ground. Now, you might say, well, if you went out in your backyard or along on the side of your yard somewhere and decided that you were going to make this clock golf game to play, that your dad might not think it was such a good idea. Well, that's probably right. He probably wouldn't want you digging up holes in his lawn just so you could play clock golf. But I don't think he'd mind, do you, if you stuck some little sticks all around like that? Well, then, here's something else that you can do instead of digging the hole, if you prefer. You can take another great big stick, perhaps the end of a broom handle, or something that's fairly wide, and you can stick that right down here in the center instead of putting a can in it like this. This is just a tin can that I'm going to set in there. But you could just put a great big stick in there. Larger than this one, of course. But then instead of dropping the golf ball into the hole or into the can, you could play it by seeing who could make the golf ball hit the stick. See? Well, let's finish digging out this hole here so we'll get a chance to play the game. I wonder if this is going to be big enough. I suppose I'd better measure it with the can. There. Fits right in there so that when I push the dirt in around the sides of the can, it'll be just exactly even. Almost like a real hole on a golf course. There, and I can smooth it all out. Since there's no grass here, I can just smooth out the rest of the, of the dirt that I dug out of this hole, too. There we are. Now then, let's pick up all these things here. We won't have anything in our row. And then I'm going to take the golf ball. I'm going to set this pin up here so I'll know where the hole is. You can see where the hole is, too. I'll take all of these things out of the way and we'll play. All right, let's set them right over here. There we are. Now, this was the one that I marked up here, wasn't it? There was 12 o'clock and here is one. So I'm going to put the ball right here on the very edge of the circle that was the first thing that we made. And then with the golf club, now I have what's called a putter right here. Maybe you can borrow your mom's or your dad's putter. But if you don't have any, then you can use a great big stick. Like, see, I could use the end, the right end of the golf club, or I could turn it over and use the other end like that, see? Well, now what I'm trying to do is this. I'm trying to hit the golf ball into the hole, and I'm going to count. As many times as I hit the ball, I have to add one more to my score. So you can count with me if you want to. Here comes the first one. 
And if it's rocky like this, it makes it more fun because you never know where the ball is going to go. So that was one, wasn't it? Well, here's two. Oh, just missed it. And maybe I can get it to go in on three. There, dropped right in the hole. So now I have three. Well, if there was someone else playing with me, the second person would also start right here where I did and see how many times he had to hit the golf ball before it went into the hole. Maybe it would take him four shots. Well, then he would have to remember four and I would have to remember three. But in order to save me a little trouble, I have a piece of paper and a pencil and I mark down the first one right here, number one, and then across from it I'm going to put down a three. So that, that will help me to remember how many times I had to hit the ball on number one right here. And then let's move over here to number two. Put the ball right here on number two and see how many times it takes this time. There's one. Do you suppose I can get it in on two? Let's see. Almost. But it took me three again. You know, if you practice long enough, you can start from the side and you can perhaps put the ball in a little cup in just one shot. Well, let's see. Number two, I had three. All right, now we'll try it from three o'clock on the clock over here. Where's number three? Right here. Right there. Here we go. Oh, it just missed the hole. I almost made it on one. Suppose we can get it two this time. Two. Well, that's what happens. That's the way you go all the way around. Should we try another hole just to see how many more it would take? I better write down two across from number three here. And we'll play the fourth number on the clock. And then I don't know for sure whether or not we're going to have time for any more than that. And the longer you play this game, the more you know that you have to aim for the cup. Give it a little hit. And the more you play, the more you'll know that just how hard to hit the ball. Two. So I got another two. I think I'm improving, don't you? And that's what'll happen. The more you play, the lower your scores will get. Now then, if I were playing with someone else, and I added up my score, and I have eight, nine, ten. And maybe the other person would add up their score and perhaps they would have twelve. Well then you see I would be the winner because the one with the lowest score is the one who wins. You try it, will you? And have your mom and dad play with you too because this clock golf is really a lot of fun. We'll see you. Goodbye.